In 1973, the Supreme Court of the United States of America ruled on two decisions on the same day. Those rulings are responsible for ending the lives of multiple millions and changing the lives of all of us. In one sweeping decree, abortion was transformed from an unspeakable crime into a constitutionally protected liberty. Since January of 1973, more than 50 million unborn human beings have become victims of the choice. Millions of young women in crisis pregnancies became victims as well during the most vulnerable moment of their lives. A multi-billion dollar industry was born from their tears. An entire generation has been impacted by abortion. Palouse Care Network, the CareNet, has walked the journey with our neighbors in need since 1981. Our mission to embrace life, promote health, and provide hope has been saving lives and touching hearts for more than a quarter century. Together, we have built a loving community resource where women in unplanned pregnancies find the nurture, free services, medical access, and the truth they need to choose life for their unborn children. Young parents, both moms and dads, receive the tools, mentoring, and support they must have in order to raise their children well. From our center, we reach out with programs and services the at-risk population of university students from across the nation need, giving these young people the information and skills to build healthy, life-affirming relationships. There are so many young women and young men too on campus that are in need of, of life and health and hope that we can provide. And there's something about seeing a little baby in the womb and, and looking at the developmental process that, that reaches past someone's mind and goes straight to their heart. And to have someone share that, that real life perspective with them might get them thinking reaching out in our small communities to give youth the skills they need to keep them from becoming the next casualties of our sex-saturated culture is part of the compassionate quality care we provide. We are an oasis of healing and restoration to the many women and men who struggle to find peace and hope following past abortion decisions. Our client contacts doubled in 2011, the first full year we operated from our new location. By mid-July of 2012, we had already matched our previous year-end numbers. It takes your partnership to meet these needs of our friends and neighbors who live with us on the Palouse. Yet there is so much more that must be done. They're coming in from um, a war zone. Uh, there, there's war being made on their, their emotions and their, um, their minds and their entire perception of, of sexuality. And I can see that spark in, in a young man's eyes than when he realizes that maybe, maybe there's something more in him and there's something more expected of him. And that is a great joy. The most rewarding thing about getting to volunteer here is being able to care for people in a holistic way of getting to use not only my, the medical skills that I've learned, um, but getting to incorporate that with meeting them in that vulnerable point in their lives. There is a great need to expand our campus impact. We have the free programs and services in place, but we need campus interns at Washington State and University of Idaho. Their ability to connect students with us is vital. These paid intern positions will provide us with the reliability we need to compete with those who promote abortion and sexual promiscuity on campus. Only when our services are known will women in crisis find our support when it's most critical. There's a great need for life coaches through our Family Resource Center. Young people, children really, are being caught by the just have safe sex lie. Increasing their access to contraception has never reduced abortion and has only increased STDs and broken hearts. One in four teenage girls is now infected with an STD. 
Few have the skills to build healthy relationships, setting them up to become the next abortion victims. Our goal is really to give these young people the um, tools that they need to be able to stand up against a culture that is really bringing them a lot of destruction. We'd like to give them information so that they can see the bigger picture because we believe in them. We really do. We believe that they deserve to hear the whole story. Though so many lives have been lost, out of the darkness will come hope. We live in such a caring community here on the Palouse, and together we've built this network of care to meet the needs of our neighbors. I would just ask that you continue to work with us in order that we're able to create a culture that embraces life and promotes health and provides hope. Join us, because what we do now will impact our future, our children's future, and quite possibly the future of our country.